power button turns the machine on. It also turns the backlight on or off. Um, now this lock button here, you can see the arrows kind of jumping up and down. That's because this is operating an XGB or the automatic ground balance setting. If you wanted to lock that setting, all you do is tap that. Lock icon comes up and now you're locked. If you wanted to update the ground balance while you're locked, you just tap the bullseye button or the pinpoint and that does a ground grab. You can see it flashes the phase of the ground on the display and you know the machine's grabbed whatever ground is under the coil so you can keep hunting. Now if you hold that lock button, that gets you into ground scan mode and what that does is it shows you the ground phase and the ground strength by finding the areas with the highest mineralization and you can mark it with like landscaper flags or just you know draw a line in the sand. That way you know where to go back through and process the material through either a sluice or a dry washer. When it doesn't see any mineralization, it goes down and it flashes and lets you know, hey, there's no ground under my coil right now. In this ground scan mode, you can adjust your ground offset by hitting the up or down arrows. So you can see I've got a solid up arrow right now. It also tells you the number of offset. So right there I'm plus one, there I am zero, which is perfect balance, there is minus one. When you set this ground offset, this is, this is active whether you are automatic ground balance XGB or locked. So it'll actually track the ground, but be plus one or minus one or whatever you set it to. 